Madam President. Senior Senator from Hawaii. Thank you, Madam President. We are one year into the worst pandemic in a century, and it is clear that Native Americans have felt some of the most severe impacts of COVID. Now, here's what we know. The number of confirmed cases per capita among Native Americans is three and a half times that of white Americans, and that they are almost twice as likely to die from COVID than white Americans when they contract it, and that over a third of all Native Americans are at high risk for serious COVID-19 related complications, the highest percentage of any group in the United States. Native Americans need help now, and it is our job to deliver. President Biden has proposed a bold plan, one that meets the moment and one that helps our most vulnerable communities. The president's plan includes more than $28 billion for Native people, making it the largest investment in Indian country in American history. From Hawaiian homelands to villages, pueblos, rancherias, and other Native communities, our fellow Americans who live on or near these lands need immediate relief, not half measures, not delays. As the new chairman of the Senate Committee, Committee on Indian Affairs, I urge my colleagues to join me in voting for this resolution and delivering critical relief to all Native Americans, Native Hawaiians, Alaska Natives, and American Indians. First, to help to slow the spread in Native communities, we have to invest in health care. And that's why this resolution includes millions of dollars in critical resources to support the Native Hawaiian health care systems and more than $6 billion for the Indian Health Service, which is the primary vaccine distributor for more than 330 tribes and urban Indian organizations across the country. Now, these funds are going to help enhance health care services, particularly by improving the IHS's telehealth infrastructure. IHS and tribal health care facilities are overwhelmingly located in rural and isolated settings with little access to specialty services like cardiology. So expanding telehealth so that more people can get the specialty care that they need wherever they are is a game changer for Native communities. Finally, these health care funds will support the medical workers who are on the front lines every day, day caring for Native families and fighting the virus. We also need to shore up tribal governments and federal programs and services that Native people rely on with an infusion of resources. That kind of historic critical investment is exactly what President Biden proposed to do because tribes are uniquely dependent on their business enterprises to fund essential government services for their citizens. This budget resolution calls for $20 billion to support tribal governments. To put a fine point on it, the gaming operations are mostly closed, and that's how they fund health and education in many instances. Now, these funds will enable tribes to continue to provide services like elder care and the deliveries of medicine and food that are particularly critical during the pandemic. And it will help us to keep the lights on at their businesses. There's also $750 million to address overcrowding in homes and homelessness, circumstances that disproportionately affect Native Americans because housing stock tends to be scarce. And this problem compounds people living in tight quarters and being unable to avoid the spread of COVID-19. Ensuring Native Americans have access to safe and affordable housing is essential to stopping the spread of COVID and crushing this pandemic. The plan also includes $900 million for the Bureau of Indian Affairs to support critical programs that keep people safe, protect kids, and help to deliver water to Native families. Now, especially during this pandemic, the BIA should step up, own its fiduciary responsibility, and help the tribes fight the negative impacts of COVID in their communities. And there's also $850 million for the Bureau of Indian Education, schools, colleges, and universities to address critical education infrastructure and to enhance distance learning capabilities, and hopefully, Bring kids back into the physical classroom. But you can't do that without money. 
You can't do that without crushing the pandemic. You can't do that without safety. We must make sure that Native students don't get left behind and that we protect the health and safety of students and teachers. Now, we all need to work together and support Native families and communities across the nation. And as I think about the history of the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs, and I think of the, my two predecessors, Senator Daniel K. Inouye and Senator Daniel Kahikina Akaka, and the legacy that they built of bipartisanship. And so I understand we're about to have a fight this week around a very silly process called Votorama. But we need to remember what this is all about. This is not about a goofy 10-hour or 12-hour or 15-hour process where we stack amendments and try to set each other up that will somehow trick someone into taking a bad position that can be turned into a campaign advertisement. That's tomorrow. And it is nonsense, and everybody should ignore it if they can. Do anything to not watch Votorama. It is boring, and it is the worst part of the United States Senate. But it is a very important means to an end. It is a very important means to an end because we were elected to deliver COVID relief. And once we get through this goofy process tomorrow night or maybe it's Friday morning or whenever it is, we're going to be in a position to deliver COVID relief and then we're going to be in a position to talk to our Republican colleagues on and off the committee representing Indian country, representing Alaska Native communities, representing Native Hawaiian communities and figure out how to make sure that the people who are suffering the worst during this pandemic. The people who are suffering the worst during this pandemic get the help that they need and deserve. And that's something we can come back together on as we move forward on this legislation.